In our encounters with the divine, we are often struck by a sensation greater than comfort, a feeling of overwhelming reality that surpasses our understanding. We become aware of a presence that knows us intimately, sees us entirely, and loves us in a way we cannot fully comprehend. This awareness strips away illusions, exposing us to an unshakable truth that we are loved, deeply and profoundly. In his writings, C.S. Lewis captures this transcendent encounter, especially in Miracles, where he speaks to the heart of our human longing for God. When we pray sincerely, we experience the Lord's presence, his unbreakable promise that he listens, as the Bible reassures us in Jeremiah 29, 12 to 13, then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Imagine, in these words, a voice of eternal promise, a promise that brings peace and calmness, no matter the storm raging around you. Scripture offers wisdom and comfort to those who are open to it. Proverbs chapter 4, 20-21 speaks directly to us, My son, pay attention to what I say, turn your ear to my words. Do not let them out of your sight, keep them within your heart. These words remind us of our value in God's eyes and reassure us that we are profoundly loved. God's voice is an anchor in turbulent times, offering unparalleled peace and serenity. Allowing his love to envelop us and his words to resonate within us brings healing to even the deepest wounds of our hearts. God desires for us to lean into his words, to trust his promises with unwavering faith. John chapter 14, 27 tells us, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. With these words, he reassures us that his peace is not a fleeting comfort, but a profound gift meant to sustain us through life's trials. This peace transcends all understanding and gives us a joy that does not waver in the face of challenges. God's love is not simply an abstract concept. It is a living, tangible force that fills us with hope and strength. Romans chapter 5, 5 tells us, And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. In moments of despair, remember that you are not alone. He is with you, holding you close and providing protection from all harm. Trust in his enduring love, which shelters you from the storms of life, and know that you are forever safe in his hands. Reflecting on God's assurance, as expressed in John chapter 10, 28 to 29, we find strength, I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish, no one will snatch them out of my hand. This promise serves as a testament to the steadfastness of his love and the security he provides. No force on earth can take you from his embrace. Prayer is our lifeline to God. When we lift our voices in gratitude and thanksgiving, we draw closer to his presence. Philippians chapter 4, 6-7 urges us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation. By prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Each prayer we offer is met with his attentive ear, a reminder of his unceasing care. Imagine each word of your prayer rising to heaven, embraced by a God who cherishes every thought, every concern, and every act of devotion you bring before him. Life often leaves us feeling helpless, but we must remember that God's strength is made perfect in our weaknesses. Lean on him when you are weary. C.S. Lewis wrote in the Screwtape Letters about the futility of anxiety as it distracts us from the present, which is the point at which time touches eternity. This perspective reminds us that by focusing on the present moment and God's guidance, we find true peace, as each day is filled with divine purpose. In moments of despair, when life feels like a series of relentless storms, it's vital to remember that God is always present, ready to extend his hand to us. This assurance is beautifully captured in Psalm chapter 18, 16 to 17, where we read, He reached down from on high and took hold of me. He drew me out of deep waters. 
These words echo the profound truth that God does not leave us to struggle alone. He actively intervenes in our lives, reaching into our depths of sorrow and despair to pull us into the safety of his embrace. When we find ourselves at our lowest points, overwhelmed, lost, or feeling abandoned, God's proximity becomes especially significant. It's in these moments of vulnerability that his love shines the brightest. We may feel like we are drowning in the challenges we face. But just as he has delivered us in the past, he is ready to do so again. Our past experiences with God serve as reminders of his faithfulness. He has been our anchor during the storms, our refuge in times of trouble, and our hope when everything seems hopeless. Each time we have called out to him, he has been there, not only to rescue us but also to remind us of his unwavering commitment to our well-being. Moreover, the Lord's promise to guard our lives is profound. Psalm chapter 121, 7-8 reassures us. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life, the Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. This scripture speaks to the comprehensive nature of God's protection. He watches over every aspect of our lives, our movements, our decisions, our very being. No detail escapes his watchful eye, and we can rest in the assurance that he is actively involved in our journey. In recognizing this divine care, we are invited to release our burdens and surrender our fears to him. It can be tempting to cling to our worries, to feel that we must carry the weight of our struggles alone. Yet, God invites us to let go of despair, to exchange our heavy loads for the lightness of his love. This act of surrender is transformative. It opens our hearts to the healing and restoration that only he can provide. Embracing God's love means trusting in his plan, even when the path ahead is unclear. His love offers solace amidst chaos, hope in despair, and the promise of renewal. When we allow ourselves to be enveloped by his grace, we begin to see that we are not defined by our struggles but rather by our identity as his beloved children. In his hands, our past hurts become the foundation for future strength, and our moments of weakness serve as testimonies of his unwavering support. So, let us remember that God is always there, ready to lift us from the depths of our struggles. With each cry for help, we are met not with indifference but with divine compassion. As we journey through life's challenges, may we continually lean into his presence, knowing that he is our constant source of comfort, strength, and healing. Gratitude is a powerful catalyst that opens our hearts to the profound presence of God in our lives. It transcends mere acknowledgement of blessings, it becomes a way of life, a continual act of worship that draws us closer to the divine. Even in moments when we may not have specific requests or petitions, our attitude of thankfulness is a fragrant offering to God. Cherished deeply in his heart, this sentiment is beautifully articulated in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, 16-18, which instructs us to rejoice always, Pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. These verses remind us that gratitude is not merely an occasional response to favorable circumstances but a persistent posture we are invited to adopt in every season of life. When we embrace a spirit of gratitude, we invite God's blessings to overflow in our lives in remarkable and often unexpected ways. Gratitude shifts our focus from what we lack to the abundance we already possess. It changes our perspective, allowing us to see the myriad of ways God is at work in our everyday lives. From the simple joys of a warm sunrise to the deeper connections with loved ones, every moment becomes an opportunity to express thanks. This awareness of God's presence and provision transforms our hearts, cultivating a deeper relationship with Him. Moreover, God sees the sincerity of our worship and responds with favor that often exceeds our wildest expectations. When we approach him with genuine gratitude, it is as if we open a channel through which his blessings can flow freely into our lives. The act of giving thanks becomes a conduit for his grace, 
enabling us to experience His love and goodness in profound ways. In those moments of worship, we may find ourselves surprised by the abundance of His provision, often in forms we had not even imagined. This divine favor may manifest in opportunities, relationships, or inner peace that transcends understanding. Additionally, gratitude fosters resilience and hope, even in challenging circumstances. It anchors us during storms, reminding us that, despite difficulties, there is always something to be thankful for. This attitude of thankfulness invites God's presence into our struggles, providing comfort and strength as we navigate life's uncertainties. In times of trial, when we choose to focus on gratitude, we align ourselves with God's perspective, recognizing that His faithfulness endures regardless of our immediate circumstances. As we cultivate this spirit of gratitude, we are also transformed from the inside out. Our hearts become softer, more compassionate, and more open to the needs of others. We begin to see the world through a lens of appreciation rather than entitlement, which deepens our connections with those around us. In expressing gratitude, we not only honor God but also reflect His love to others, creating a ripple effect of kindness and positivity. Let us remember that gratitude is not just a response to what we receive but a lifestyle that opens us to God's presence and blessings. By rejoicing always, praying continually, and giving thanks in all circumstances, we align ourselves with God's will and invite His abundant grace into our lives. In every act of thankfulness, we experience the richness of His presence, allowing His blessings to overflow in ways that not only enrich our lives but also impact those around us. Let gratitude become the anthem of our hearts, guiding us into deeper communion with our Creator and fostering a spirit of joy that radiates into the world. Every obstacle we face is an opportunity for growth, a moment to deepen our faith and witness God's hand in our lives. As Psalm chapter 37, 4 encourages us, take delight in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. God holds our dreams and goals, and He guides us to fulfill the purposes He has designed uniquely for us. Our faith, loyalty, and sincerity are precious to Him, qualities that assure His guidance along the journey. When we face challenges that seem insurmountable, let us remember Isaiah chapter 41, 10, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. No matter the trial, we are never alone. God is there, providing strength to face each day with renewed courage and resolve. The Lord invites us to come to him for rest and solace. In Matthew chapter 11, 28, he calls, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. When life becomes overwhelming, take a moment to retreat into the quiet of his presence. In that sacred space, we find rest for our souls and healing for our wounds. God's peace replenishes our spirits, enabling us to face life's demands with hope. C.S. Lewis, in Mere Christianity, reflects on a profound truth, if I find in myself a desire which no experience in this world can satisfy, the most probable explanation is that I was made for another world. Our earthly experiences often leave us yearning for something more, a hint of our heavenly origin and the eternal home that awaits us. Our souls are drawn to God, the source of all that is good, pure, and fulfilling. This life is filled with moments of beauty and joy, but they are mere glimpses of the joy and peace that God has in store for us. As we live out our faith, we remember that we are citizens of heaven, called to reflect God's love and grace to those around us. God has chosen each of us to be his light in the world. Matthew chapter 5, 14 proclaims, You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. We are called to share God's love offering hope and comfort to those who are struggling. In moments of darkness, our light, born from our relationship with God, shines brightest. It is our purpose to guide others toward Him, showing through our lives the transformative power of His love. 
when faced with challenges, when doubts creep in, or when fears threaten to take hold, remember that God's strength resides within you. As Philippians chapter 4, 13 says, I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Embrace each day with a heart full of faith and gratitude, knowing that God's love and grace will carry you through. God's love is steadfast and unwavering. As we walk this journey of life, we can rest in his promises, for he is faithful. Romans chapter 8, 31 reminds us, If God is for us, who can be against us? Let these words resonate in your heart and mind. You are held by a loving God who sees every tear, hears every prayer, and is with you always. In the quiet moments, take his hand, allow his love to fill you, and remember that no matter what happens, he is with you. He has walked beside you every step of the way, and his love will never fail. In times of joy and in times of sorrow, trust in his unwavering promise, I am with you, always, to the very end of the age. Let this message of love and faith inspire you to live each day with a renewed spirit, knowing that you are forever cherished and eternally protected.